What's good, TJ? Oh, he did what? So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. I don't know what to expect from a computer person. But Chris, he did all right at the Bureau. And he's got to be better than his rate suggests right now. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. 
Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Come, 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 Mr. Sunlight. Yeah, I hear you, man. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim. You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blacked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! 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 Ow. That's gotta be them. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. You got my son in there. Give me back my boy! Pull it over! You can have your idiot son! Thank you! Shit! Fuck, man! You, do you think... Do you think it's over? Yeah, 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 he's gone. Are you sure? Cause... The dude holds 
like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. And now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a fat ass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle. You must be Shit. I survived seeing a picture of its ugly. Enough! Alright? E fuck enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times. Great times. The fucking fun you have. I'm kinda shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? Troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. statues. It's an art house, Turkey? You're kidding me. Lester, 
I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. For sure. You know them bitches can't get enough when your boys got paper. Hey, I'm going, man, before you take advantage. Mr. Conservative! Man, what the fuck are we doing here? Nothing. Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically. I, uh, I have a black friend, and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black, uh, or whatever your people call Man, it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll! Let's roll where? Catch you on the flip side, buddy! Yo, you see that? Half the airport's on the Dominator's payroll today! Better bond fast with that beauty, cause you two are going tandem! I didn't bring my idiot translator! What the fuck are you talking about? You're driving that hunk of metal and gasoline out of a cargo plane! I'm doing a fucking what? you to be the last person I touch? Uh, yeah, okay, Air 5 then. Parachute? Check. ATV? Check. Big pair of balls? Uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening. Not me.
You feel that? Lightning bolt, zap! You're alive! You know how it feels! <laughs> Man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out! Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. What a fine patriot. Hey. I thought they deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that there's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. Don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You wanna fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left on Ocean Highway, you'll see them. Oh, fucking civil border patrol! Never have gotten involved with those nut jobs. Hey, Joseph, why don't you try that on me? Yeah, the ship. It's real easy for me. See, Joe, I'm an equal opportunity psycho. Civil Border Patrol disbanded. You made
make me sick. I can't fucking deal with this. I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Bury the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Ah, where did you come from? Look out! This is ridiculous! I'm calling a drug test! Is that supposed to impress me? Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your thick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect! Oh, shut up! Psycho Bitch Town has a new sheriff! Come on, baby! Woo! I win! Come on! Come on, right! Sex reward! That's how this works. You're deluded! Spread your genome in a gym sock! Oh, fuck, I love you! Hold me! Gravity is like... Seventy! Stop looking at my ass! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you! You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is single. Perfect beach start! I got this locked in! Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady. I'm not even feeling it! Man, I really... 
ain't dressed for this shit. Admit it! You were carving my ass on the beach! Are you for real? That's cold! Don't be a baby! Mommy's not here! I'm your mama now! What are you doing, Marianne? Focus! Focus! T1, baby! Here we go! the damn road! Not with you! Not enough in the tank. I should have tapered. Get your taper! See? Who says women can't be athletically superior to men? You and my aunt should hook up. You have fun not having fun together. My heart rate never dropped below 175. I've gone bionic. Hey, have you seen a dog anywhere? Yeah! It went down the beach, I think! Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning! All right, I gotta keep going. Some loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser! Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out! Go to hell! Sure, shit, I ain't gonna just leave you out here. This is a nightmare. Telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. I gotta get out of here. Anywhere. Okay, I got a guy coming for me. Vinewood Hills. Jesus, this is so messed up. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Yeah, I don't think they was digging that hole for fun. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. That was your dad? What? No. 
Hey, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? You're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself like you did and not be in the life. Have you heard of Sammy Bettino? Most people call him Sonny. No, why? The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad, father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007, and we had to go into hiding, move out west. One day you're living the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. And your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Bettino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside, or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of copped a plea, gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. <laughs> Whereas you seem like you don't let nothing slip. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches, daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. She could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two hicks ever talked to is gonna get hit. Well, what's your name, by the way? Franklin. Franklin what? And I ain't sure I wanna answer that. He's gonna wanna know who saved my life. Franklin Clinton. You'll be made right for this. I promise. Yeah, yeah, if you say so.
That's my guy. Thank you again. I won't forget this. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But, the wife and kids are back under the roof. So, maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. What the fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous! <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. to do this. Man, I need to get some health food in this damn house.
Okay, who this? It's Antonia Bettino. You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? Oh shit, how can I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now I gotta get off the line. Thank you again.